Hello, hello, how are you guys today? I'm here with a brand new series. Now I'm gonna say right out, this one will probably not be every day. Um, I might just take uh, three days a week or something because I'm, I'm not gonna be sitting here recording myself doing some really boring farming bits over and over and over again. You know, if I'm just doing 2,000 of something in a field, that's not a lot of fun to watch and it's not like any of us get out enough to have a life and things to talk about anymore. So I, I'm only, I'm going to keep the boring stuff to myself, okay, and then um, I will just be sharing hints and tips and when I start building it beautiful, when we start creating the community that I want to make around the farm, uh, I want to build a town anyway we'll get to that so these are farms i've already got uh, this is my biggest one this i think i've got almost 1500 hours in this game which is a bit much but it is it's like i love it i love it it is the most relaxing mellow little game i'm going to be starting a new farm for this series um these have got a lot of there there's different um different maps different terrains on, on these i probably will just go i'm looking at this this one's got a, oh, it says a little bit of everything and that's exactly it in this picture you can see the steep terrain you know it's got like two levels and sort you know hills right and there's a lot more of them so the the game is a lot harder to get big fields it's more chopped up bits and pieces roads are a little more complicated etc you have you have less land to actually build on if you you can just barely see in here see that dark spot that is where i could plant so all of this land around here with the curves and the hills is unplantable so you do end up with a lot a lot less territory watery you're going to end up with less for the same reason you've got a lot more rivers running through the place the the, the map is a lot of little bits and pieces i mean i guess i could show you these things but you know what just look on your own now f the flat terrain it says it's hard mode um and it, because it's less money and experience but it is so much easier to build in this this is not hard mode you're going to have these long elegant fields you'll be able to plant so much easier your roads are just long straight you know you, you've got your grids it's beautiful it's really really easy and because of that you can actually make a lot more money in the same amount of time uh, so and because it's easier you do get less money and less experience for different things that you do i'm just going to go with this one for this this has got it's going to show you everything we're going to have some areas that are very you know, along the edges of our map once we were able to open that that are going to be just big flat it's going to be great there will be a few bits and pieces like this and there's going to definitely be some rivers running through it so the grizzly bear estate man i had forgotten about a name now i plan on making not just a farm but a village with farming around it at some point it's going to be really messy and ugly for a long time but at some point that is what we were going to be aiming for so i mean i never even thought of this Ooh, the first big hurdle of the day shite i should have thought of a name okay what do i love best in the world hiking scotland horses books history studying learning new things dancing hmm the dancing bear estate <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna name it some you know what i'm gonna call it ayrshire village um there are the ayrshire village farm the village is going to have grown up in the area you know what we'll just go for ayrshire farm that'll be fine and because you get a, you know a, a big production you know you get the big the big farm the big estates maybe we'll go with the state yeah i like that uh, ayrshire is my favorite place in the world ever i have traveled a fair bit and i'm just happier there than anywhere else so i'm gonna i like this name and what i will be doing at some point is creating um like i said you know if you have the big estate you've got lots of farming and then people move in to work near the farm and a village grows by it and that's that's what we're going to be doing in this playthrough there will be times during the series where i'm going to be at other of these farms especially this one and in three days there's an event starting so three days from now i will be talking about events and ways to shortcut a lot of the hassle and a lot of the playing time that comes with events yeah because because there's some things you can do um yeah that you will want to do now if you're thinking about just playing this game now when you see this 
I'm going to say right up front, the first thing you want to do is make yourself four farms. Just do that. Just make yourself four farms. Do the same things you're going to see today and tomorrow until you get all of them to about level. This is the level here. This is 21, 95 there, 213 there. Um, get them to about level 12 or 15. And um, actually, this is public. Well, I left it public. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Now, public means that other people who play the game can come in and visit my farm and they can do whatever it is I choose to allow them to do while they are on the farm. Now, you will be seeing things in this game that you won't have uh, when it comes to buying objects and things like that because I have been playing the game for the last year and... Um, and I'm, I'm going to have things unlocked. Each of these events that come up, and there's about two a month-ish, uh, are going to be giving you new items, new animals, new plants, new things to put in your houses, etc., etc. Now, I want you to notice something. When I go to this thing, it's got three minutes and 38 seconds left. If I water it, the time drops to a minute and 40, 47. Now, you're going to look at that. Look in the bottom right or bottom left-hand corner of my screen. I wish I could point. Um, where it says carrot, it's level one. There's a little water drop there, and, and there's no ring around it, and the time is counting down underneath to when this thing will be ready to harvest. And this one says three minutes, 40, or 22 seconds. If I water it, that drops to one minute and 38 seconds, and you see the big blue ring that went around the water drop. Watering the, the crops, the uh, field crops, I'm going to call them, the things that you actually have to you know, plow, harvest, blah, 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 really helps, really helps to uh, cut down the time that you're going to have to wait. Now, the, the timing in this game, I am just using, um, okay, slow down here. Think sunshine. <laughs> Moving around in the game. I'm using the W, you know, A, D, S to move around. That's nice and easy. If you like to use your keypad, that works too. The, the arrows, not, not the number pad, but the, uh, the, num the arrow keys, <coughs> they work as well. Excuse me. If to do something, the little basket above this is showing me that this is ready to harvest. And the little watering can, of course, showed me that it was thirsty. All I do is left click your major mouse button. To cl I click again and I have plowed that. Harvest, plow. Harvest, plow. So when I'm doing a lot of this sort of really super duper boring thing, I'm not going to be recording this because who cares? It might be, you know, very, very, very relaxing for me and you got a movie that you love on Netflix or for me it's BritBox these days. Oh my God, I love BritBox. But um, I, you know, I'm sitting here watching something and just doing this nice, relaxing, tra-la-la-la-la thing. But I'm not going to record this kind of thing. I will at first here for the next, um, first two or three recordings probably just because there's some things I need to show you. Now notice up here it says breaking news on the, the right hand side and it's showing me that I, that is a, a quest that I have and that is showing me every time I pick a carrot I have nine carrots left and I have four out of the 20 that I needed to finish that portion of the quest and now I have six of the 20 that I need and now I have seven <laughs> and you can count too right I'm just gonna shut up now but uh, now notice when I do a harvest here, I've got some numbers popping up. It's 60 gold. It's two experience and it says full. And that means that I am now basically wasting crop. I'm still getting the money and I'm still getting the experience, but I'm not able to store those extra ones. And I will show you why that matters. I'm going to click the Q button and I I'm going to escape to get out of this. Look in the bottom right hand corner. It shows you a little shopping cart. If you want to go shopping for something, there's the queue. The hints are always there. The game is, is just dead easy to learn. And of course, if I want to plow something or do something, it's showing me to use, you know, my, my major mouse button. But first I'm going to hit Q. Now these are all things I can buy. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of things I'm going to be able to open up as we go. These are going to open based on various things. My level, my farm level, and the level of the actual plant. 
uh, as you go through things, the, your, your plants level up, you level up, your farm levels up, and different things open in, in various ways. Now this is showing me that it, that little checky thing, this is part of a quest. And this little checky thing, that is part of a quest. I can't do this one now. It's grayed out because if I look over to the right, it says peanut. I got a picture of the plant, I, what it's going to cost to buy, and when I can plant it. This can only be planted in summer and winter. And as the happy little shamrock shows, we are now in spring. So I can't plant that just now. But I can plant some of these. I'm just going to click on it to select it. No big deal. And then come over here and do a regular old clicky again to plant these. Because I need more than I've got currently, than I currently have. Now, I, the next recording, I'm going to be showing you a mod that I, I use. There are, I only know of five mods for this game. There is only one of them that I personally use. Um, and I, I like it, and, and I'll, I'll explain why I feel that it's in a very important and wonderful addition to this game. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's just really good. <laughs> So like I said, after the first couple of episodes here, you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of these boring beds. Although I, I don't find them boring, I just find them relaxing. Now over here we have some potatoes. Um, I'm, now look at the watering thing again. There's, there's a little bit of a water line there, but not a lot. So when I water it, it will go all the way around. The time here is 41 minutes, almost, almost 42. When I click on it, it's dropping to 22 big difference very big difference the little watering can doesn't show up until things are pretty parched here too you can see there's a little bit of water still sitting over that drop under the little purple one there in the in the bottom left hand corner but if i water it completely the time comes down dramatically the times you look at or that you will see in this game for um for crops or real life time by the way it's not just uh, game time. If it says it's seven days, it, I plan it on Sunday, I don't get to harvest it until next Sunday. So, yeah. And that's why I'm gonna show you as many shortcuts as I can possibly do. Now, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a big expert at this game. I've just kinda learned as I go. You pick up a few bits and bobs here and there and you know, you learn things the hard way because I apparently seem capable of Googling anything. I just don't do that. Oh, and I can harvest some more little lettuces. Now there's that full thing popping up again. So we have a storage problem. And I will show you all about that in just a minute. Now the season just turned in the upper right hand corner there. You see that little pocket watch symbol and now it's a bright sun on it. We are into summer. So that means I can now plant my little peanuts. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Now the quests that are, are there, and I'm going to show you where to find those here. One second. Because they matter, and they matter a lot. Because this here, one plant at a time, this is going to get old in a hurry. I don't know about you guys, but mm, yeah. This is going to get old in a hurry. You don't want to do it this way. So we're going to do our utmost to shortcut this into some way, a, a better way to do that. I'm going to hit the escape button and in here. Okay. See, I can only store 20 of everything right now. That's all my storage. So every vegetable I pick, I can't store it anymore. It's just, I guess I'm just leaving it on the fields to turn into compost for, for improving my fields or something because we're not storing these. But I want to go into the quest log right now. And it wants apple trees. So there are some apple trees dotted on your first your first uh, farm here. And I need 10 apples. I will get one apple per tree. Or maybe it's a bushel. I get one bushel of apples per tree. I need four more peanuts, excuse me, and eight more carrots before I will finish this quest. And then see this little duber here, that little pink ribbon? That's the big thing that I'm after right now because in here, all the, there's trees you can buy, animals we can buy, fish, flowers, buildings, decorations, fencing, and various kinds of paths. But this is what we're looking for right here. This one, I, could, I can buy this with money 
I can buy that with the little diamonds and uh, you see all of these in the upper you can see them up in the upper right hand corner here there I have the little orange tickets I have none the little pink ribbons I have none I have 10 little diamonds and I do have some cash um, I can buy this the vegetable stand first I'll just pop it over here for now now the pink box on top says that this is ready to use on the there, there's big and small sizes of most of your your um, produce buildings like this these little shops that you get to sell things in the small ones there's a waiting period between when you can use them the big ones you can just use them constantly but if I if I have enough vegetables to actually be able to sell some and if the timer is down that pink box will turn up so if I click on this right now it's going to take it'll, it's taking some of my crops and again I'm gonna go here and you can see that now two things have changed I sold 20 but there's more storage I sold every vegetable I have but now I can store 60 of them because each of these little things they do double duty they add extra storage for various types of items be it fruit or vegetables or cheese or milk or whatever and they also allow you to sell things and selling that I got more diamonds so these are very those are four kinds of currency there's the the gold the balloons i guess the diamonds the ribbons and the little tickets that you're going to be able to use all the new farms have got a well on it if you click that it's just like 25 gold that's all now apple trees are the cheapest trees and they are the ones you'll make the least amount of money on ever in the game they never really get very good at all but the nice thing about them is they they will um, allow you to harvest every single season. Apple trees in this world are just little magic trees that just they're always producing more apples. And um, if you're doing things like making jam, and there's reasons why later we'll get to that you will want to make jam and make lots of it, they can be a really nice fast way to get a whole lot of fruit. A lot of the fruit trees you're only going to harvest once a year so you know something that's going to give you four harvests per year is kind of nice and that little I'm not sure what that is, is that a radish or a beet whatever it is it means my chickens don't have any food so I'm going to go over here and just click that's all you do is do a click and it feeds them and takes some money and if I come over here the fish hooks show me that my fish are ready for harvesting as well. I've got too many fish. I need to fish some out to keep my pond healthy. <clears throat> now I needed to plant, uh, what do I need to plant? Peanuts, right? I need to plant peanuts. Do -do -do. So I'm going to go into here and find the peanuts and do that before the summer's over. Because once the summer's over, no more. No more for you. And of course they always go in thirsty. Now, there are going to be some shortcuts later for, um, well, once we get the mod in, things are going to change dramatically. And there are the other four mods, or four or five of them, I don't know, they're, they, to me they feel very much like cheat mods. Um, the one I use just feels like it, it just allows a lot more play time in the game. Especially early in, you're going to find that there are times um, that you're just waiting you know you've got well I planted everything I guess I may as well just log out and come back tomorrow literally because everything I've managed to do right now is going to take you know 24 hours before things are ready or something like that and you, you just can't even play today you just can't even play today so how many peanuts did I need this is showing me I have 18 planted I need tens so I've got lots I planted way more than I need and that's okay because leveling up my peanuts may mean that I open another crop down the road. So having a lot more than you need of something is not a bad thing at all. Not at all. And I will water them because again the time is like 29 minutes and now it's 25. Doo -doo -doo. So that's just some of the basic mechanics. You're using the W, S, A, and D to move around. <coughs> the, 
you're just going to be aiming with your mouse just by rolling, you know, moving your mouse around and any sort of click is going to give you an option and it depends what you get is depends on what's, what's going on. Um, if right now and again in the bottom right hand corner look at that little thing if I hit the X button I can recycle it that's just going to put it back to grass. Uh, if I come over to here however I don't want to do it with that one because I'll lose the food. If I come over here however now look at the bottom uh, the bottom right hand corner. Q for harvesting it, it if they were ready. I, I could hit the Q button. You know, this is going to come up. I can shop. That's the shop button. Sorry. Z though is the one I'm looking at right now. Notice I click Z and I get a red line around that square and look at the bottom left hand corner. It says tropical fish move. I'm going to move on to the next one and cl click Z again and now it says move and two in parentheses. Now it says three Z, Z, and another Z. Now I can take these over here. I'm just going, the fish are so far away. It, this is so inconvenient for me. So I want I want a fish pond near my house or up here right closer or something. So I can do a thing where I can now just click and just click and put the fish over here. Now you can do this with your trees you can do this with buildings and you can move up to a hundred items at a time when I go over here and then there's nothing else showing well I'm out there's no app with these you don't get that option because here all I would do is hit the X button and recycle it and then just go and plow somewhere else now I do have apple trees I can hit Z and what I'm doing here is basically what I do to start every game is I just tidy up the farm um, just get it so that things are you know, in one place. I don't want to be hauling all over the place to pick up trees. Now while I'm walking using the W, if I hit the shift key I speed up. And notice it says I'm moving three trees. I'm moving three trees there. And if you are on a road, you go a lot faster as well. So roads are handy, and using that shift key to uh, to get around quicker is quite handy. And Z one more time. So I have picked up six apple trees, and there looks like there's one more over here. And now I have seven. And when you get big orchards up, yeah, like I said, you can you can quite easily have. Um, you know you can you can pick up a hundred things at a time see that tree over there disappear look at the next ones I picked up when I click them here they're removed from where they were if I just cancel this they stay right where they were that one disappears and then over in the background there you can just see them disappearing and the one way off in the back there ba -doom. and then the one again behind us and now they're all here now put them in blocks of nine or at least three across, not blocks of nine necessarily, but at least three across. Because when we move up to tractor hood, things are going to get nice. And we will not be getting the tractor or the next round of stuff until we get this quest done. And this quest is going to take, well, not too many minutes here but we do have to wait until the apple trees and get more of those in the next season and we're looking at 22 minutes and a half for these peanuts unless I do this and now it's 17 minutes but I'm not going to keep the recording going this long so I'm going to stop here and say if you are thinking about playing this game events are big and important things for more items and there's just going to be so many fun things you're going to want um, and uh, you'll want to be watching out for the events and getting here and doing them. They generally limit how many things you're going to be able to plant, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, there's an event in three days, so I'll be dealing with events a lot at that point. But over the next three days, you would have no problem at all leveling up four farms to level 12 or 15. And you're going you're gonna to want that for the event, like absolutely. I'm going to water the flowers now. Now the flowers are a little different. If you notice the time there under the flower picture in the bottom left hand corner, they do not change time when I water them. Field crops, when I water them, the time goes down. And if you keep them watered, your time will be cut in half, which is dramatic. 
if I'm planning something that takes you know three days and now it's just a day and a half that's a big big difference if um, if I water trees just doesn't make any difference at all but if I water flowers the time doesn't change but you make a lot more money when you sell them and that's not terrible either I'm thinking that's not a bad thing at all so you you will want to keep them flower watered now when we get you know a little further into the game we're going to be able to um, to put some automatic water by automatic waterers so they just think things stay watered all the time so between automatic waterers and using the mod for time which the mod I use is going to cut down the amount of time things take you can really reach a point where the game just constantly moving along and you don't actually have to wait on too much of anything oh well that's not true you're always going to be waiting on flowers you cannot make the flowers any faster and some of them wrong button some of them are going to take up to a week so there's nothing you can do about that and quite frankly there's so many other things to do that that's not really the problem it may sound like I'll tell you not really that problem at all and these are already mostly watered so it's not not changing much what I will do though is connect this so now if I were playing the game and I wasn't recording and I wasn't planning on getting a mod that would speed up my my field crops it doesn't speed up anything else it only feel, speeds up field crops um, I would just mostly be kind I mean I could plant some things I could find some things to plant I could put some more lettuce in in a few empty spots and hope to stay busy until the you know 15 20 minutes from now when some crops become available I could go make a cup of tea uh, I could be looking at the things in the game but you early in the game you you run into these quiet spells where you can't do a whole lot because of uh, of just waiting time and I can't buy a lot I really don't have a lot of gold I don't have diamonds I have no tickets etc 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 so as soon as we get that first quest done what we will be doing is looking to buy where is it here do 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 it's hard to see with the silhouette but there's going to be oh right here this one it's it's two I have to be level two and I will be in seconds it goes really fast and it's going to cost me two tickets so I'm gonna to have to get two of the original quests done and that is a little fuel tank or a, a fuel pumping station I guess and as soon as I have that available I get to use a tractor <laughs> so good times good times so moving around again is like with your, your the WASD or your arrow keys whichever you want aiming your mouse where you want it and going that way walking along is like this pretty slow shifting is quicker and hitting the road and way quicker so roads are good to have okay those are things you want to pay attention to get those first quests done start selling off your crops once you have enough now you notice I you know I did some uh, I picked up potato or potato or whatever so I only have one that's not enough this thing is requiring 20 at a time to sell and I know that because down in the bottom left is his vegetable stand and you see the little eggplant under it and it says one out of 20 I know I need 19 more vegetables before I can sell it sell them in the market there <clears throat> and little random things are becoming available but I'm calling this one done for now like I said this probably won't be an everyday one because I would pr have to play a lot of you know boring planting stuff in between um, but maybe three or four times a week and I'm gonna be looking at um, a couple other games I'm trying to decide on I'll, I'm thinking a lot about them today tonight we'll see when it goes and Maybe we'll have two or three things going on at one time here in the in the channel. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I just keep aiming for three. I haven't gotten there yet, but we're aiming for three. So until I see you next time, thank you very much for being here. Um, maybe next time out, I will be talking about the mod. I will show you some of my other farms, or well, one of them at any rate. And at some point in this series, I'm going to be doing a great big recycle of my biggest farm. 
So, ooh, there we go. I'll show, I'll give you some housing tours. Yeah, lots of fun things coming up. I promise you won't be sitting here watching me dig holes. <laughs> Until I see you next time, thank you to everyone who makes my life possible. Bye-bye, guys.